Cabinet members say they have all tested positive for the coronavirus. Many sympathize with the exposure to the virus and others question it. 12 News' Deidre Briscoe spoke with constitutional law professor Matt Steffi about the coronavirus in the White House and appointments and what's next for the country. The Constitution has been a guiding force that governs our government and the people. But what happens when the greatest medical scare in history reaches the White House? What then governs our next move? Large gatherings have been banned since March, but political figures have still come in contact with many people. Many are speculating that President Trump could have gotten the virus from his recent visit to D.C. and New Jersey. With weeks away from an election, people are wondering, will we get an appearance from the vice president? The president notifies Congress that the president is temporarily unable to, to discharge uh, the duties of office, and the vice president becomes acting president. As soon as the president is back on his feet, he transmits a letter to Congress saying, I'm good to go, and the responsibilities of office devolve back to him. Before getting sick, the Constitution didn't govern President Trump's recent act to appoint a new Supreme Court justice. In 2015, during the last year of the Obama-Biden presidency, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said he wouldn't fill the vacancy for Senate eight months before an election. But the Trump-Pence administration has seemingly bypassed any box. Politics of power, not the politics of principle. There's really no other way to look at it. Professor Steffi says that behavior that shows favoritism will inevitably result in retaliation from the opposing party. As far as what we have to look forward to, well, the professor says at this point, we should take it day by day. And I think we can take some solace uh, in the fact that the Constitution has this government. We have a president in waiting at all times in the office of the vice president. Someone will be present. Mass mandates have ended here in Mississippi. I think it's time that we take this moment where the virus can claim anyone at any time to take time to take care of ourselves and thy neighbor's health seriously. Gerald.